This is the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the world, wind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth, uh, blessings, and, and safety to the men, women, and children that believe on the name Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and truth and sincerity. To you, I say, Shalom. with Tom Yamas. Tonight, new tornadoes whipping across the Midwest. Official warnings stretching to at least five states. Thousands bracing for cover as a massive storm wave pushes through the country, bringing this blinding snow plus dangerous winds. The system so powerful, it tossed this trailer right across a highway. Stop! From the West Coast to the Great Plains. A deluge of rain and hurricane force winds, leaving thousands without power. Even trapping drivers, many with no way home. The unprecedented storm first slammed into Southern California on Tuesday. Record-breaking rain quickly turning the L.A. River into raging rapids, swallowing vehicles and prompting swift water rescues. We had a white two-door car here early on, and now there's a T-top also. We have two vehicles. Stacked up. After months of drought, burn scars transformed overnight into dangerous mudslides, forcing evacuations and stranding those left behind. Tree branches and drywall, ceiling, everything coming down. Uh, she's very fortunate that she was not injured. The storm of the season now battering the Rockies and gaining strength. Gusts of up to 107 miles per hour crashing into Colorado. 50,000 businesses and homes in the metro Denver area without power. At Denver International Airport, closed runways leading to mounting delays and more than 100 cancellations. And in the Midwest, this dust bowl growing in size. Parts of Oklahoma and Kansas battling high winds and severe weather. Holy With 89 million people under wind alerts across the country, Tonight, a new threat as a second storm quickly approaches the West. And Tom, it sounds like things there in Colorado will be tremendously active going forward tonight. That's right, Lester. The strong winds remain tonight into tomorrow morning, and then that's when the extreme chill starts. I just got off the phone with our weather team. They tell me with those strong winds, it could feel like 22 degrees below zero here tomorrow. And, Lester, it just started snowing again. All right, Tom Yamas for us. Thank you. As this storm blows across the country, a potentially dangerous night ahead for millions. Al Roker is tracking it for us. What are you looking at, Bill? Well, Lester, things are really starting to ramp up. Unfortunately, you can see we've got right now this line of severe weather what we are looking at basically we've got tornado watches out right now for a, a lot of folks uh, an area stretching basically from minneapolis down into kansas seven million people we also have tornado warnings now in western uh, iowa and so we're going to be watching this closely 10 million people at risk for a moderate risk of severe weather wind gusts 75 miles per hour damaging hail and of course those nighttime tornadoes which are twice as deadly as the daytime ones 72 million people being impacted by high wind warnings and advisories and right now lester in kansas we've got dust storms and fire danger right now the the fire is so strong and the winds are so strong that first responders have to shelter in place they're going to have to let these fires burn out so it is a very volatile situation all night tonight through a big swath of the country you've got a lot going on there all right al thanks very much and